All right, I think I'm recording. I want to share my screen. Let's close this. Let's see if we can do this. Give me just a moment, everybody. Um, there's always some technical issues, seems like. All right, so I think I'm recording and I think you should be able to see my screen now. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? So I wanted, I've been working on this topic for quite some time. And you know what, I thought, you know, it's time to do a webinar on it. It's time to get the information out there a little more. And so um, I recently wrote an article for Crossroads Magazine. And um, I've been doing a lot of my work in my PhD program around this topic as well. And, and, and a further certification around coaching clients with complex PTSD. And I thought, you know what, it's time to get some information out there in the hands so that people understand a little bit more about what it is and more, and, um, and more importantly, the therapies that you can do to help support in healing and moving towards uh, and moving through it and moving towards a better a better situation. So not really looking for you just to say, oh, okay, I'm surviving, but really to, to go beyond that into thriving. So, so welcome, I'm Kelly Huger. It kind of sounds like yogurt. And I am a second year PhD student at Saybrook University. I'm a professional coach, I'm an author, I'm a course creator, I'm an herbalist, I'm a aromatherapist, I'm a naturalist, I'm a wildlife rehammer, I'm a martial artist. I'm a very multi-passionate person, um, and it's so, so exciting to be here and to share a little bit about my work that I've been doing these past two years in my PhD program, and what will my dis dissertation will probably be on as well. And I'm part of a mo movement called Mind-Body Medicine, so we don't rely on fads and kits and quick fixes and all these smoke and mirror tactics that people are trying to sell you nowadays. These people are are self-proclaimed gurus, but they don't really use anything that's evidence-based. And often they're just trying to sell you something, kind of get in and get out. And that's not what I do. And if that's what you're looking for is a quick fix or somebody to sell you something and say it's gonna solve all your problems, I'm sorry, I'm not the practitioner for you. I've never worked that way. I'm not gonna change that now, but there is good news because we in this movement are professionals, we use the opposite approach to fads, quick fixes, and, and sales, right? We are passionate about wellness. We are passionate about total well-being. We are passionate about true transformation, right? So we use evidence-based therapies, evidence-based therapies, things that have been studied, have clinical research, that have scholarly research, that are peer-reviewed. And we use this along with positive psychology coaching for real lasting results with our clients. So if you ask a lot of conventional practitioners or these fly-by-the-night gurus, they'll say, well, what we are doing cannot be done, yet it's happening. I know coaches and people who are working with people that I'm working with and similar type of clientele, and it is working. And in my case, um, I get clients who come back to me months and even years and years later, raving about our work together and saying they wish they had contacted me first. Instead of spending so much time and money on fads, kits, or, or these quote unquote gurus who tell them they have the one thing that will work, that don't. So that's a little bit about me. I'm excited to bring you this topic today. It may not necessarily be this the most beautiful topic to talk about, but the reason why I'm so excited about it is because I know what works and I know that people can actually get help. So who do I help? I help passionate women and a few men with extreme stress disorders like PTSD, complex PTSD, anxiety, or burnout, who know there's got to be a better way to relax, regain their energy, and to move through this process to actually start to get some momentum towards healing. And today, more than ever, there is a need for 
this movement and this movement of practitioners that blend the ways of traditional ways of old with new research with new things and like evidence-based medicine that's why i'm so excited to be a part of it i'm so excited to be here with you now to share my work that i've been doing with you and i hope that you can get some value out of it um, so let's get started so stress-based disorders like complex ptsd ptsd burnout um, Stress is a big deal. I'll talk about this in, in other topics, in other webinars. If you'd like access to those, certainly reach out to me. But stress-based disorders are a big deal. And we often, often they get so misdiagnosed or they get overlooked. And as a matter of fact, the recent estimate um, I read is about 80% of medical visits have a stress-based component, component. That's a big deal that is a big deal so complex post-traumatic stress disorder or often called cptsd is an extreme based stress disorder that can be brought on by repetitive stressful events for example a lot of my work has been with interpersonal violence in women um, that's that's one issue that can be ha can be going on people who are in toxic relationships for years and years and years and years and years and often don't even realize it it's like a drip in the faucet right they don't realize it until they look back and realize the bathtub was full of water where did all that water come from it was a drip in the faucet that was going on all the time so um, that's a lot of the work that i do is with women who have interpersonal violence maybe emotional it might be physical it might be even sexual and Another cause can be childhood emotional abuse as well. And so sometimes what happens is people get into a similar relationship as they did with their parent that may be toxic or a family member or whatnot. And then they stay in that situation for years and the childhood situation set them up for, for the long-term drip, drip, drip and this long-term interpersonal violence situation. And, and then often what happens is then you have this situation, it just culminates and keeps on going till you have um, post-traumatic stress disorder or complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And in complex post-traumatic stress disorder, all the, um, all the requirements that, are, that PTSD are, are met, and there's a couple little um, um, nuances beyond that. So people often exhibit um, distortions of emotional regulation. So they may go fly off the handle for no reason, or um, they may have these pervasive negative self-concepts. And um, difficult with interpersonal relationships, difficult trusting people. Um, there's a lot of things that go along with this. We're not gonna get too deep into that because it is a huge topic. Really what I wanna focus on more is what we can do once we are finding ourselves, maybe or we're thinking we're finding it ourselves with PTSD or complex PTSD, what are some things we can do to move forward? That's the biggest issue and the biggest key here. Um, so a lot of feelings of shame, guilt, failure, self-confidence is typically an issue, self-esteem. <clears throat> and they're like, all right, I'm never gonna be able to move it out of this, what can I do? Um, and that's kind of, that's really what we're gonna talk about today are, a little bit of research but some mind body therapies that can be beneficial so um, a little bit more differs from ptsd is mostly as a result of the fact that it develops over a period of years so cumulative effects it may not be one incident right it's just cumulative it goes on and on and on and before you know it the person feels like they can't fight anymore or they they were fighting for a while and they finally just go into either a fawn mode where they just try to please whatever the situation is, please that person. That doesn't even work, right? With narcissists or covert narcissists or people have narcissistic tendencies, that won't even work. You'll never be good enough. You will never be able to please that person. It doesn't make any difference what you do. It will never be good enough. And so finally, they start to lose hope. They start to get very frustrated. And they go into often a very deep, dark place in their, in their self-thinking that they are the problem. 
um, and it's a really um, hard place to be. But the point here is that we can move forward out, out of it. You know, it can be something as simple as years and years and years and years and years of your mate or um, whatnot, whoever you're with, withholding affection, right? So that can even do it as well. And often the people, um, covert narcissists or narcissists, or even people just have um, uh, borderline personality disorder or um, something like that. Often it's not something they're setting out to do. It's just that they often can't give emotion. They don't have the ability to. Um, so there's a really a lot underneath this iceberg and we're not going to be able to explore all of this. It's just kind of given the highlights and the overviews of it. So again, one of the things that comes up with this is like I mentioned earlier is women with interpersonal violence. So this can be, um, intentional aggression by your social network, by your, um, family members, by friends. Uh, co-workers, all this can be anybody you have in contact with all the time. And women are unfortunately twice as likely than men to not only have this exposure, but they're also twice as likely to develop. And often, unfortunately, this is probably where I get most frustrated. Usually they are not diagnosed. They're usually diagnosed with having anxiety disorder or having depression. Rarely do they actually have um, someone who can see the whole picture and actually can help them um, actually see that it may be more than just anxiety. So that's something that comes up a lot. And I talk about that in my research as well. But now I want to talk about what I've been working on and what I've been seeing with my clients and what I've been doing with my clients. And um, and really, I'm really, really excited about this. So, um, so I hope you'll stay with me <laughs> because I'm super excited. And I want to share with you. So positive psychology coaching can be very, very beneficial in the, in the treatment of, and, and it doesn't, it's not the only thing you can do, but this, this bouquet, think of a bouquet of flowers. When you are sent a bouquet of flowers, you go buy a bouquet of flowers, just not one flower in there, right? You have other things, you have greens, you have baby's breath, or you have other things. And so it's, it's kind of like a bouquet. And that's what I want you to visualize in your mind when we're talking about this. It doesn't mean that you may not need medical support. Certainly you should get medical support if you need it. Doesn't mean that you may not need therapy. Coaches are not therapists and you should get that if you need it. But it's like a bouquet of flowers. And often um, my clients tell me that therapy was not enough. Medications made them worse or didn't work and they need something more. They're looking for something extra. So they often stay with their therapist or or they want to wean off of things and I'm not making any of those judgments and I'm not telling you to stop anything because I'm not a med medical professional, but I am telling you that they need extra support and this is where the rubber meets the road, right? This is where you go from being in that tornado all the time with the therapist. Like I had one client said, I just felt like I was reliving the experience every time I went to therapy. She said, every time I went to therapy, I was just reliving it. I was not made, moving forward. I wasn't moving out of it. I wasn't making goals to come out of it. And it was just like I was stuck there. And this is where positive psychology coaching, mind body medicine tools, really the rubber meets the road here. This is where the magic happens. And that's why I'm so excited. So um, coaching can help clients feel heard. And we work with their, their strengths. I use the VIA survey, which I'm a huge fan of. My clients love it as well. Um, I work with the VIA survey. We have, I have a whole set of tools over here in my little tool basket, mind, body, medicine, um, plant-based medicine as well, that we can work together to not only help them to feel her, but help them to create a vision to move forward and to move out of this stuckness right, that they're in, they're in this stuckness, and they often feel like they don't have any hope to move out of this, and I'm, I'm here to tell you that with the right support, and with somebody who is skilled, and somebody who is well-trained, and who understands not only the research behind it, the evidence behind it, but um, who have, has been with clients, and working with them to move forward out of it, this is really where the rubber meets the road. So I'm not going to read everything on this slide. Hopefully you're um, um, checking in on it, reading it as well. But really, this is a big situation. It can help them to, it can help clients to really develop this best, um, to better, better self-care practices, 
And, um, and actually my research I'm doing right now is on loving kindness meditation, which is super, super huge, well-documented for uh, complex PTSD. And, um, and it's something I use with my clients as well. I can't share you everything that I use with my clients. I'm just going to share you a few things because otherwise we would be here for like forever. So I hope you'll reach out to me because I really, really, really want to get this out. I really want to support people. So excited about, um, for helping bring people out of that tornado and that cyclic thing to one step, one step, one step, one step. And then before you know it, some major step, just giving yourself 1% every day can make a huge, huge difference. And, and that's really where the magic is. And that's why I signed up to be a coach years ago because I saw that it works and I still stay with it because it works. So mind body medicine is modern evidence, evidence-based um, revolutionary approach to healthcare, and it promotes healing that includes wide ranges of behavior and lifestyle interve intervention. So we're looking at, um, especially with complex PTSD, we're looking at something that's very, very important and that a lot of people don't talk about, and which is neuroplasticity. And so your brain has the ability to adapt to change, but we have to do things a certain way in order for that to happen. So neuroplasticity is great, it's wonderful. This is why positive psychology um, and coaching with mind-body therapies works because of neuroplasticity. So some of the things that mind-body practitioners use are plant-based therapies, mindfulness, meditation, coaching, obviously, hypnosis. And I'm getting my clinical um, hypnotherapy degree as well through Saybrook. Um, I'm actually starting to work with a few hypno um, clients. I'm not doing that professionally just yet, but that will be something that will be included as well down the road. I'm real excited about that. But spirituality, um, a lot of practitioners won't touch spirituality with their clients. And, um, you know, one of, in one of my papers, I, I read or I researched that around 61% of people have a spiritual practice. Why are practitioners not addressing that? You can address that with your client in their journey and be supportive to them. And so that's one thing that I use. I have a spiritual practice and that's one thing that I check in with my clients app and if they're willing to explore that, that is something that we explore because I think it's a huge, huge benefit as well. Can you tell I'm excited about this topic? <laughs> Just a little. So we're gonna talk about two therapies to begin with. Um, and again, I have a whole toolbox of them, but one of them is called shake therapy. It's also called neuro, um, um, let's see, what is the other name they, na they named it? Neurogenic tremors, I believe. That, that might be the wrong actual term there. Don't quote me on that. But I call it shake th uh, therapy and um, yeah, neurogenic tremors as well. And the idea is, is if you've ever had a dog or if you've ever seen anybody give a dog a bath, this is the best analogy I can give you. If you've ever seen anybody give a dog a bath, what's the first thing that dog does? they shake, right? And the water goes, I had an Irish, Irish terrier, bless her heart, I love her dearly. Uh, she passed in April, bless her heart, I love, miss that dog, gosh, I miss that dog, I love that dog dearly. Anyway, Ginger Pie, a lot of people know her. Uh, she's named after the uh, children's book, Ginger Pie, P-Y-E. But anyway, it was the first thing she would do is shake and water would go everywhere. And she was a therapy dog after she retired out of agility. Uh, we did therapy talk together. So we went to nursing homes. We did Special Olympics in all these wonderful, beautiful things. But, uh, but getting her there with the bath was the big thing. She would do this shake and they would start from the head and they, she shakes all the way down to the tip of her tail. So think about that. That's kind of where we get this from. So this is a completely simple, free, pretty much generally non-invasive unless you have like, you know, physical issues that you can't do it. It's really, really great. So you're basically like going to kind of just imagine like you're the dog that just got out of the bath and just kind of start shaking and shake it all out to the ground. I like to do this with music as well, but you don't have to. And it will shake, shake, shake out. And it's a huge, huge, huge somatic release. So we store things in the body, right? Emotion is stored in the body and the cells hold on to that. And this is a great way just to release it out to shake it out and 
it's something really people should do every day anyway, but especially right after you have a stressful event, oh, you're talking to your ex or blah, 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 blah. Your boss comes in and yells, blah, blah, blah. Whatever that is, go to the bathroom, close your door to your office, whatever, and shake it out. It is huge. It's so beneficial. Um, and there's a lot of research on this as well. I'm not going to go into tons of research, but there's tons of research on this. It's great. Wonderful. I love it. All right. So another thing I'm really huge, huge fan about is mindfulness and, you know, breathing. We do it every day, but we don't think about it. And we don't um, realize that often our breathing patterns are actually influencing for the negative our, our emotions. And so we really have to shift from this hyperventilating chest breathing to stimulate the vagus nerve. And we have to really get down deep into this belly and get into some belly breathing. And so this really um, helps us to stimulate the vagus nerve, helps us to get out of fight or flight, which if, if, you're in, if you have complex PTSD or, or PTSD or any kind of like burnout, um, any kind of um, allostatic load burden, you're probably in fight or flight a lot. And so this is something that you can do. So you're really just gonna direct that belly, the breath right to that belly and breathe. And so I work with my clients, sometimes they don't have any basis, any foundation at all in proper breathing. And really just doing this one thing can really, really help. And so setting your timer, or using an app, maybe like I Breathe, and nobody pays me to say that, it's just a really good app. Belly bio is another one that's really good. If you're taking notes, write those down. But um, so just breathing in real, real, real slow and directing it to your belly and breathing out. And it can really, really support it. If you're not on my private Facebook group, join. I have a whole instructional video on that. We go through that. I don't want to spend a ton of time on that because um, I want to get to the rest of the content. But it's huge. I know it sounds silly, but it really is huge. One of the things that people don't know about, you hear everybody trying to sell you these things to, um, to alter your pH levels. And if you haven't been approached yet, I'm sure you probably will. This, 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 pH, pH, pH. Do you know that belly breathing or mindfulness breathing or anytime we're breathing and we're just not judging and we're directing the breath to the belly and we're stimulating this vagus nerve actually changes your pH in your body. So you don't have to have all kinds of expensive gadgets and things like that. You need someone who's skilled, who knows what they're talking about, who studies, and more importantly, who puts these practices to use in their own life and with their clients who sees results. That's where it's at. Sorry, I had to take a drink of my coffee. So why does this work? And I've talked about a lot of the reasons why this works. But one of the things, besides the fact that it is evidence-based medicine, right? So we have the clinical research. I could give you probably right now easily 10 or 10 pages of, of just references if you, if you would want to weed through them. <laughs> Let me know. But why does this work? Well, number one, evidence-based medicine supports the release. There's somatic releases that goes on in the body, right? The body holds the stress and there are things that we can do to not only release that, get the somatic release, but coaching helps normalize feelings. It helps clients to feel heard. And one of my clients said to me recently, and she, and this is exactly what she said to me. She said, Kelly, you're the first person who really has heard my words. And of course we worked on other things. We gave other tools, not, she had never been heard. She had been to doctors. She had been to, um, even, she said, even I went to therapy. She said, I never felt like I was really being heard at a deep level. And, um, and sometimes really that's what it is. You really need to be heard. You need to understand that what you're going through, you're number one, not alone. Let's normalize those feelings. Let's get heard. And then let's offer some tools that are evidence-based to that works. So, um, and this is not about positive psychology. It's not about this fake. I'm happy all the time, right? 
that's a misnomer. That's not what it's about. Positive psychology, you will still feel times of sadness. You're going to, what do the kids say? Feel your feels. You're going to still feel your feels, but you're not going to stay in that negative state as long, right? Because you're going to have tools. You're going to build resilience. You're going to learn how to, how to understand where you're held in your body, how to release it. All of these things are really where the magic meets the, the magic works, right? And I tell people when I was, when I first started seeing clients, I don't know, probably 10, 12 years ago, I don't even remember how long ago. But um, one of the things before I found coaching was I said, I wish I had a magic wand. And then I realized after I found coaching and became a, a, a coach, I finally have a magic wand, right? Because the client is in control. They are the master of their destiny. They are the expert in themselves. And I know now how to work with them to help them discover that as well and to offer resources when they have trouble and need them as well. So it's really, really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing and a beautiful dance between a client and a coach that I'm just so, so excited about. And I hope that you um, are excited about maybe not necessarily the topic per se, but the idea of moving through that topic into getting to a better place. So now what, now what, now what do we do? We have some information. And, um, and what do we do with that? So the best thing that you can do is to reach out to see what tools I have that could support you. Um, you can also find me in my private group on Facebook where I share more valuable information. Um, it's, um, I, can, I, I don't have the link on here. I, I should get that. But um, um, it's on Facebook. I'm, I'm Kelly Huger. It, it's Huger, H-U-G-H-A-R-T, so you can find me there as well. But really now, what's, what is it that you need to do? If you feel like this resonated with you, if you feel like this could be a potential um, something for you to help you move out of that tornado of that kind of like Groundhog Day, you feel like it's the day every day is the same to move out of that and move forward, then please reach out to me. So the website is mawmawkelly with an I dot as dot M E, and that is my private schedule scheduler. And we can get on a call, see what resources I have. If I don't have resources to help you, or if I don't feel like I am a match for where you are, I am happy to refer you to another practitioner who does work similarly to me, but that is ethical, or to send you a resource as well. So you have two choices at this point. You can do nothing, sure, it's a choice. Um, you can stay where you are, you cannot get any support. And you'll probably be like some of my other clients who I get um, 15 years later, they said, I've been looking and looking and looking for 10 years or I'm 15 years and I still am the same place that I was um, X amount of years ago, right? And they realized, they thought they could do it and they researched and they spent years and years face down a computer and they didn't get any help and they didn't get any support. And now they're thousands and thousands of dollars into it. Um, with no support and no further along. So you can do that, it's totally your choice. I'll, absolutely, um, and there's no judgments on that. The other choice, which is of course my personal favorite, is to jump on a call with me and see if what I have, the resources I have resonate with you, to see if we resonate with each other. I don't take everyone who calls me and says, will you work with me? I don't do that. There are people who I know I'm not the best match for them and they're not the best match for me. And so if I don't feel like we are a match to work together, I refer them to someone else or, um, or I refer them another resource. So jump on a call. Let's see if A, I have resources that can help you move through this difficult time and help you support and to see if we even resonate with each other. And of course, again, if not, I'm always ethical. I'll send you to someone else or give you a referral. I'm happy to do that. So um, really, I'm very truthful and very ethical. And like I said, not one of those, like one of those self-proclaimed gurus who are just going to, you know, sell you this thousand dollar thing and says, oh, this will work. And then your thousand dollars in, right? So your thousand dollars thinner in your wallet and what you have is not working, right? Or one lady... One of my previous clients said she spent like $10,000 on 
all kinds of things, tests, uh, blah, 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 you name it, kits, blah, 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 everything you can think of. And um, finally, by the time she got to me, she said, you're my last hope. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get help. Not only did she get help and not only was it not $10,000 to do work with me, not only did she get help, but more importantly, three years later, she comes back and she said, that was the best thing I ever did was to work with you. I'm living my dream now. I'm doing this blah, blah, blah. I don't want to tell her whole story on here because I don't want to, um, you know, give too much detail. But the point is she feels better than she had. She said she, she feels better than she had in 15 years. She went back to school to do something she always wanted to do. And she really never had the confidence to do. She's doing that. And she said, I never realized, I never ever realized that working with somebody one-on-one um, -on -one would be that huge of a transformation in my life. And she said, I still, still think for it and um, I get so many I get so many testimonials like that I'm you know I'll have people come back to me years and years and years later and go you know what the money I spent with you was the best money I ever spent in my life and of course I'm happy to hear that and that's why I do what I do believe me I you know if I wanted to I could be out you know fishing in the creek right <laughs> or um uh you know um doing whatever right sitting by the tree and uh, listening to the birds sing or whatnot i love i love that i love nature but more importantly my biggest love is having people come back to me and know that their lives were transformed because of something that i helped them with and something that i could offer and bring a bigger bigger um bigger blessing to the world right everyone has a passion and a gift they can't do their passion and their gift and whatever they were called to do if they're exhausted, burnt out, stressed out, and, um, and feeling completely stuck. So I hope you'll reach out to me. Um, you do have to fill out an application. Um, not everybody gets on a call. You do have to fill an application because if you just say, yeah, call me tomorrow and I'll answer the phone. I can't do that. I do have to set up times. Um, I do have a very busy schedule. I'm in a PhD program. I am taking over a full load in that. So um, I do have to set time aside. So please, please, please get on my schedule um, while you can, while there is availability. And the website again is um, www.maw.kellywithani.as.me. And guys, be blessed in all that you do. And I hope that you will reach out to me. Oh, do I have one more slide? Oh, I do. Uh, one more slide. It's the same. Same thing as I said. I open up a few sessions every month. Not everyone is approved. And I, and I just say that because I have to value my time. I'm just super busy. This, this program is kicking me in my behind. Not going to lie. This program is kicking me in my behind. Okay. <laughs> Guys, um, thanks so much. And oh, let's see. I gotta, gotta get back out of my game back to here. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now. So uh, thank you so much, guys, and be blessed in all that you do. And I hope you'll reach out to me. Um, have a great day.